Okay, it is really rare to get a car of this vintage with this kind of miles. This is a one owner 1985 Pontiac 6000 fuel injection. And I mean, I tell you what, one owner, very well taken care of. I've done this here video four times. And my Sony video camera here keeps taking a kerplunky on me and stopping midway through. So if I happen to lose you in the middle of this, you're going to see two videos. Because I'm just going to start from where I was. I can't do it again. It's already been 40 minutes trying to record this. I love these one, two owner cars. I tell you, they just were maintained better. This one looks to have new shocks, new coils in the front. And it looks like a new transmission. And I'll show you that. 64,000 original miles. It is barely broken in. These cars go for three, four hundred thousand miles. Minor scuffs are the main thing on this car. And I'm just going to show them quick because there's a few of them. But it's just minor like on the hubcap. And the wheel well looks beautifully almost like new. There's your coils up there. In the underneath here, all the CV axles, everything looks great. There's your tranny, and I'll show you from the other side. It just looks as clean as can be. Scratched up, kind of ran something there. A little scuffed up there. Same thing. A little miscellaneous scratch, a couple along the hood. Paint's very clean, except for these scuffs I'm going to show you. The paint's just really clean. Um, brushed against something here. And you can see that. 6,000, of course, is what it is. Kind of brush that. Push that up. Takes a heat gun. That piece usually broke off from everybody bashing things. This guy got something once, good and proper, and bent the fender a little bit, chipped a piece of paint, and pushed that in a little bit. You back up a ways, you can't really see it. It's pretty clean, but it's there. I want to show you, you're usually buying from overseas a long ways away, and I like to be very upfront. Tires got little titties all over the sides of them, and there's between 70 to 85 percent tread. They're Michelin radials. Here's the other view of your transmission, which is in just amazing shape. I think there's no, I just think it was rebuilt. Because you'll see just road pickup, just road grime on the frame and stuff, and there's just nothing on that. Underneath it, factory undercoating and all. It's, the cat looks like it's replaced, but it could just be from sitting inside for so long and everything. I just, I believe it was garaged. If you look at the top, I mean, the paint just shines like there's no tomorrow. A little ding right here in the door. A little scratch there and miscellaneous door chips. Looks like he um, had a close call right there. Didn't it across something and just barely scuffed a scratch right there. Same kind of scuffs on the rear bumper right there. Underneath, like I say, clean as can be, it's a 64,000 mile car. You don't come across these like this. They have two, three hundred thousand on them. Broke the license plate frame there and the reverse light. You know, I've got four set, three sets of keys for this car. So, I'll send them all there with you. All of the factory stuff is all in here. Okay, let's see. Can you see it all? Hope so. And the sound system in this car? Amazing. Um, very upgrade on this. Very upgrade. Owner's manual, warranty assistance, customer satisfaction delivery procedure paper. Got everything on this. Got the original packet, envelope, everything here came in. Oh, nice and clean here. On, it's all carpeted with the original jacking instructions there. And that piece of wood, as you can see in there, chipboard is good. You just have to do the old in the center there. And that'll get your spare out. That car just looks... It's, I hate to say like new because you see the scuffs along it, but when you look at the inside and you look at the 
trunk here and you look at this and look at that, they, they took care of it. Chip that, just kind of, guy has a few close calls here on almost every corner of the car. Runs, drives, shifts, steers straight and nice as can be. A few dings along here and the big one there. Like I say, from a ways away, you can see it there. And you can fix some stuff on it. You can like, catch up the outside. Man, this is just a go-getting, stinking, high gas mileage, cheap, save you, stinking money car. I wouldn't go fixing that kind of stuff. Like I say, if I lose you here in the middle, because I'm getting about to where I start losing people on my video with my camera shutting off, I will do post a second one. So that's the exterior. Now I'll go on a test drive, and I'll show you the insides, and collect my thoughts for a minute and hope that this here is my thumbnail where people can see this nice clean one owner 64,000 mile car. My name is Nathan. Call me up and buy it. 406-544-6919. Also check out my website. It's www.serialmarshmallows.com and click on blog and you can see a lot of stuff I have for sale. I've been having problems with my blog. If it don't come up go to www.missoula.com autoauction.com I'm going to go ahead and do a test drive here for you now show you how the car runs and look at the door panels and everything it's just hard for me to show you the interior with the sun blazing down like that so I'll go up in the driveway here and we'll do that a different way everything about the car is just clean as can be you probably see all that a little bit better from the house too Like I say, it just, that's like a third down on the pedal. It just goes. How about just regular old music? Don't they have that anymore? What is regular old music? I guess it depends on who you are. And that's pretty much a little test drive for you. A little click in the front there. Probably a, a bushing that needs to be replaced here at some point. Car turns on a dime, stops just like right now. That's putting it down halfway, man. It just goes. It's 30 miles an hour, like right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take you up to the house here and. Once again, it's www.serialmarshmallows.com. Click on blog there. This will work right there. Like I say, it's got some... I don't know if that's normal, but that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Okay, 64,000 original miles. I mean, it's like going back in time looking at this dash and stuff. I think that's why I'm digging the music here. It kind of... Eh, it might be a little before this car, but not much. The car is like new on the inside. Oh, this one big thing next to me is not like new, but it is easily repairable. Kind of wore that off right there. And I was going to spread my owner's manuals in here, but I didn't want to act like I was hiding that. That, I can have this taken off. He would take it off right along the whole lines, replace that pad, and it usually cost me between 85 to 120 per, per seat to get it done. So that would be all that it needs in here um, if you want to replace that. Um, then there's the headliner. Headliner's in good shape, but they pinned it up in a couple places there. I can have the headliner totally replaced for 100 to 150. I know for a fact 180 to 220 and I can get him to do both of them. So I'll guarantee you under 220 for that um, to get them done. And the guy is good. Under the floor mat, 
nice as can be. We'll stay in right there. I'm sure to come out. I don't, at least mostly come out. I don't, um, I don't have the, um, shampoos and stuff. So I just kind of sell them like they are and little things like that I can't do. Um, windows are automatic, not automatic, are manual crank roll downs. They're automatic all right. As automatic as you can roll. Okay. Beautiful on the interior, I'm telling you. Here's that spot I was telling you. And this here, flip down armrest, all works. Door panels, everything just is in great condition in here. He didn't bump nothing on the inside. <laughs> just the scuffs on the outside. Like I say, paint shines beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood while I'm <clears throat> up here on this side. Once again, Nathan, 406-544-6919. And I'll show you in the back here, this fell down. The double-sided tape up here got a little old and from sitting in the, being in the heat and sitting, getting sun hitting it. Oh, can I show you the back seat? Did I just breeze past it? Carpets are beautiful back here. Don't look like he ever had anybody sitting back here. You just can't get this kind of car with this kind of miles anymore. And I'll tell you what, I'm selling them cheap too. You check my, check my uh, other items here. Other items. Check my other cars on my channel here. And you can see, I carry a lot of one and two owner cars. I love them. Like I say, I feel they've been maintained better and taken care of better. That's what I buy. Light stain type. There you go, you can see that. And it may come out. I don't know, I don't have the mat for that side. Light all works in there. Dash is not all cracked up. Like I say, I think it's been garaged all its life because it's clean as can be. Got an old supercharged LSS there. And I drive that thing around. Um, and I've got another Buick in about this year. Um, and I've got an old Cutlass. I've got a few of them. Check my other videos here. Okay, I'm gonna set my camera down for a sec. Sorry. And I'll get this prop, prop rod in. Underneath the hood, just nice as can be. I don't remember if they put the 2.8s or the 3100s in this year. It's a 2.8. These are one of the great motors that they made. Great power plant. Look at this thing, just clean as can be. I mean, I'm sure you'll find a damp gasket somewhere or something, but it don't pour fluids all over and they ain't dripping all over. Still hardly even wore the paint off the block there, as you can see. Just amazing. And I don't know if they, you know, this is the bottom pan of the motor that's that clean and I'm a dork and I thought it was the tranny or is it the tranny pan bottom of the tranny? I bet you that's what it is. That's what it is. Yep. Pretty sure that they've replaced the tranny in this thing. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard for me to be the one to say without having the receipt. Look at this. AC Delco battery. I mean, that you can tell when somebody took care of their car when it's got the right stuff in it. The hood liner thing's a little frayed in a couple places. Um, just clean as can be, though. Get yourself a Haynes or a Chilton's manual, and you can do the work on this car. I mean, you don't need to spend big money. Parts are cheap. Look at the valve covers. This car is just as close to nice and... Peachy news you're gonna find. So anything about it that you need to know about these little scuffs and stuff, that's the only thing. Running, driving, shifting, mean machine. My name is Nathan, 406-544-6919. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day, great night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And um, that's about all I know. 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching.